Hollywood kickstarted its official award season with Golden Globes on Sunday at Beverly Hills. Now, if you missed out on the award show, don't worry. I'm going to take you back and give you a quick recap of all the surprise wins, the historic moments, and the predictable wins, of course. So first, we start with the surprises. Nobody had expected Sam Mendes to take home two awards, including the director himself. He won the Best Director Award as well as the Best Film Award for the period film 1970. I love this. I want to make it. Now let's talk about the bigger losers. OTT platform Netflix had 17 nominations, but when it came to winning, it barely registered. Irishman Martin Scorsese's big film, much talked about film, did not win a single award. Marriage Story, which had the maximum nominations, only got one award for Laura Dern in the Best Supporting Actress category. Um, it definitely did that for me. The predictable ones? Fleabag, of course. Phoebe Waller-Bridge and her show had won the Emmys, so it was no surprise that it took home two Golden Globe Awards. Um, yeah, we've hatched an amazing plan with uh, Ralph and Rousseau, who are Australian designers who created this incredible couture suit, which is the most extraordinary thing I've ever worn. So did Walking Phoenix for Joker, of course. And Parasite, the Korean drama has been making so much noise across the world in various film circuits. So it was obvious that it would win the best foreign film. And the ones who created history, the women of course, Aquafina became the first Asian woman to win a best actress in the comedy musical category for a film called The Farewell. To feel very American and there was also Hilda who became the first solo woman to win the original score award for her music in The Joker. Weariness sometimes in the last years, like in the last decade or so, like you know, to, to trust women for this bigger project. The platform was also used by celebrities to talk about climate change, Australian bushfire. In fact, Russell Crowe could not even come to pick his award because he was busy helping the victims in Australia. Michelle Williams also spoke about abortion rights and women empowerment during her acceptance speech. No film award is complete without honouring the veterans. So this year, Tom Hanks and Ellen DeGeneres were honoured for their work in the world of entertainment. For every single thing that happened in my life, I'm happy for the people that didn't support me. I'm happy for the times that were the hardest times in my life because I feel like that's what makes you, you know? I mean, if everything's easy, you don't really have anything to compare it to. So I'm really grateful for all of the hard times, all of the things that didn't work out the way I wanted them to work out. 